pepper balls were used to control the crowds on South Beach. This was after the curfew had passed and several roads were closed. Drastic measures were taken in tonight's spring break crackdown. In fact, Miami Beach has declared a state of emergency and we have team coverage tonight. Local Penn Syrah Onwar has details about the roads that are shut down now. But we start with Roy Ramos, who is showing us what happened when cops tried to clear the crowds. Roy. Sonella and Larin, that curfew went into effect at 8 p.m. this evening. But despite us telling those spring breakers about it and law enforcement informing them of it, they still stuck around as if the rules did not apply to them. It is that action that prompted law enforcement out here to use force. In fact, you can still see them on Ocean Drive, making sure the remainder of people in this area leave. Pepper balls fired into the crowds of hundreds of spring breakers on South Beach after multiple attempts by police to disperse them. The mandatory curfew in the entertainment district put into effect at 8 Saturday night. This is what things look like nearly an hour after people should have already cleared the area. We're standing right on 8th and Ocean and take a look at these crowds. The problem here is that law enforcement now has to try and disperse these large crowds that have no intention of going anywhere. Skip that curfew. We all here. <laughs> we all here. No sleep. Period. The stubborn actions of many resulting in this. The latest curfew along with business and road closures announced just four hours earlier by city leaders who have seen gatherings like this escalate, become aggressive and destructive. At night, there is no question that it becomes a place that feels a little bit out of control or a lot out of control. This cell phone video showing a restaurant with tables turned over and broken chairs. The group here dining without paying for their checks. Quite frankly, I'm concerned that the behavior is getting uh, it's getting a little bit more for uh, us to be able to handle. The restriction city leaders say is all in an effort to prevent crowds, stop crime and violence that the city says some spring breakers have brought to Miami Beach. The bottom line is that a city has to protect its residents and its visitors, its police and everybody. And, if and as we come back out live, that curfew is now being enforced here in the entertainment district, which includes Ocean, Collins and Washington Avenues and does expand north from 5th Street all the way to 16th Street. I can tell you that those restrictions are in place for at least the next 72 hours. But those city leaders plan to meet tomorrow to see how long they want to keep it in place. For now, here on South Beach, we're Ramos, Local 10 News.